up, everybody? My name is Shannon, and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today, we are talking about This Woven Kingdom by Tahira Mafi. This has been a book that I've been keeping an eye on for a long time because the second I heard about it, the second I saw this cover, the second I heard about, you know, Tahira Mafi doing another book, I knew that we were going to be in for something special. This book is very fantasy. It's very Middle Eastern fantasy. And I was really excited because it had a lot of those like City of Brass vibes. Getting into the story, it's almost like a Middle Eastern retelling of Cinderella, which was really interesting. And our main duo was almost Kate and Anthony. Almost. I don't know if I'd say that if I hadn't have like, you know, just binged Bridgerton and like completely fallen in love with those characters, but like they were almost there. Um, Aliza, not so much a Kate, but definitely like described to look like a Kate, which I very much appreciated because that actress is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but execution wise, story wise, I do think it was a little bit slow. I was hoping for a little bit more. I felt like chunks of this book were passing by and I was still like, but when are we getting into the plot? When are we actually getting there? That's why I am giving this book like a B plus because I am interested in where the story is going. I loved the way the book ended off. I was not expecting the introduction of another character that was going to have such an impact on Aliza. So like that was really exciting. I do really like the prince. I am interested a lot in where his story is going. I feel like out of everybody, he was the most compelling character. Of course, this is Aliza's story. She is, you know, like of Jin heritage. She is destined to become like the ruler of their people, help them rise back up from the ashes, you know, very chosen one type of thing. Um, but she does come from very humble beginnings. She's a seamstress. And I love that story. But her, like herself and like the way she was thinking about things did remind me a lot of the main character in Shatter Me. And she does have quite the arc and like really comes into her own. I hope that's where we're going with this woven kingdom. But as it is, I am most interested in the prince and most interested in the new character that we see at the end of the book. All in all, like I said, I am giving this book a B plus mostly because like the vibes were so good. I really liked the world. I'm very interested in the magic system she set up. I'm really interested in the politics and the dynamics that are set up here. Character wise, I wish I was more invested in Ali's story. I have a feeling that with where she's going in the next book, she will have no choice but to kind of start to develop more of a personality. And that is something I am really looking forward to. So I am hopeful about this story. I do think I would recommend checking out The Sloven Kingdom. I would just say it's the first book in the series. It is very promising. It's just not like, oh my god, I'm obsessed quite yet. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That's everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye!